Hi guys and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today we're going to walk around video on this 2015 GLX Triton. Now it's not a, uh, it's not your typical Triton because usually with a GLX Triton in this weather I wouldn't get up to do the videos. It's too cold and windy today but when I get a GLX Triton with uh, Pajero Sport wheels on it definitely gets me up to do the video. So starting off with the front, first thing, I do apologise that it is wet but I will still give you a really good representation of the condition of the vehicle. Starting off with the front, as you can see being the GLX you get that chrome style grille with the iconic Mitsubishi badging in the middle. Down below you get actually a blacked out grille. Uh, with these little fog light replicas, you can't actually fit fog lights in there, so don't think you can just take these out and put fog lights in, you can't actually do that. Um, but the front of the vehicle does present in really good condition. There are a couple minor, minor stone chips, um, but for 2015 it does present really good. Come around to the first Pajero Sport Wheel that's on the GLX Triton, which as you can see looks fantastic. Um, absolutely no wear on these uh, wheels at all, at all, as we wouldn't have fitted them because they do look very good. Um, and pretty much brand new tyres on the front of the vehicle too. So as you can see, it just really sets off that side of the vehicle, or well, the whole vehicle really, with those wheels. You can also see that we do have the indicator integrated into the side fender. And then you've got colour-coded exterior mirrors with door handles as well. Just down below, you do have the steel, the uh, alloy side step fitted as well, which obviously makes it easier to get in and out of the car. Working our way down the vehicle, being white, uh, the, you wouldn't really notice any scratches at all. But from what I can see, there's no dents or anything major scratches that are worth pointing out. And then we'll come to our second wheel again, where you can see, just like the front one, of course the condition is, is in the exact same condition. Looks really good. Good tread left on those back tyres too. Coming around to the back of the vehicle now. Where as, you, as you can actually see, we do have the canopy fitted as well. And then you've got all your badging on the back as well. Triton. DHD badging and then obviously the iconic Triton ba uh, Mitsubishi ba badging in the middle. Do have the tow pack fitted on this vehicle as well, so that will save you a bit of money if you were thinking about getting that done. I'll just open up the canopy at the back so we can take a look. Where, as you can see inside, uh, very good condition for the tray, um, but the first thing I would recommend is to get a tub liner as it just set off the back really nicely. And if you do have tools in there, not only will you save the car from being scratched, will also save you from uh, hearing the noise as well, which, you know, steel on steel isn't the greatest noise to be hearing. Coming around again on the passenger side now, where there's a little less rain on this side, so you can really see the condition of this car. But again, if we take a look at our third wheel again, you can see how well it does present. And of course, good tyres there as well. Fuel filler cap is on the passenger side, which is the safe side. And again, working our way down the vehicle, really good condition. If I'm being really picky, there is a little Mark on here, literally if you had a black Sharpie you could just go over it and nobody would, would even know. Um, but, you know, if you're picky. Coming to our fourth and final wheel, again this wheel, really good condition as well. As you can imagine, none of these wheels have any scuffing or their buckles or anything like that. Really good condition in all wheels. So as you can see, really good exterior condition for 2015. You've got the Bajero Sport wheels on it and a really good set of tyres as well. So as you can imagine, a really good Triton GLX for 2015 with all these accessories. Alright guys, taking a look underneath the bonnet now, what we have here is a 2.4 litre 4 cylinder turbo diesel engine. This engine produces 133 kilowatts and also 430 newton meters of torque. We have a 5 speed sports automatic gearbox in this vehicle, 75 litre diesel capacity tank, which on average is going to give you around 7.6 litres every 100k, so for a work vehicle, vehicle sorry, really good fuel economy. So out of a, fuel, out of a full tank, you're going to get 1103 kilometres, now that's obviously going to depend on the way you drive. Taking a look inside the GLX Triton now, we'll start you off on the driver's side door or your power window controls. Driver's side window is all automatic, so that is up and down. And then you also got a button here to lock the windows. Just next to the steering wheel, which you not, might not be able to see, you've got all your power mirror controls. So obviously that's left and right. And just below you've got your traction control button as well. On your right hand stalk, you've got your indicators and also your wipers. And left hand stalk, obviously you've got your, sorry, on the right hand stalk, your indicators and your headlights. On the left hand stalk, you've got your wipers. Jeez, I'm getting my words mixed up. On the right hand side of your steering wheel, you've got all your cruise control settings and also your speed limiter. And on the left hand side, all your Bluetooth controls and your media controls as well. Steering wheel is in good condition for 2015, is a minor bit of wear, but this being a uh, work vehicle, shouldn't be anything too concerning. And then into the middle now, where it is really basic, but it, it does have everything that you do need. So as you can see, AM, FM radio, CD as well, which not many cars come with. And then you've got the Bluetooth and the USB and AUX as well. Down below, all your climate control. It is single zone climate control, but all easy to use. And then down below again, as I said before, there's your USB. 
12 volt socket so if you do want to charge your phone you can just chuck it down to here and charge it um, really easy to go as i said before your automatic gearbox you can drive it as a normal automatic or you can put into the as they call it the sport shift and shift through the gears manually or your four wheel, four wheel drive selector so this being a four by four just as easy as putting into four high up to 100 kilometers so you don't actually need to stop the car or put in neutral or anything like that you can just do it while you're on the move and then to get into four low obviously you will have to slow down two cup holders your manual handbrake inside the console center console here as you can see you've got a nice little parcel shelf you can take out and then in there you've got plenty of storage with your 12 volt socket as well just get the camera person to quickly pan around the interior while she does that I'll get the service book just so I can run you through the service history so what I'll do is I'll just quickly call them out while she's panning through the uh, the interior so the first service with this vehicle is done at 16,000 kilometers then at 30,000 then at 46 58 76 90 and then we've done an intermediate service ourselves at 99,000 so the car now is at so we did the service at 99.4 480 the car is now at 99.511 so as you can see really recent um, service that was done on this car as well what we'll do now guys is we'll jump outside the vehicle and we'll wrap up the video all right guys hopefully that's given you a really good representation of the condition in t inside and outside of the vehicle so please give us a call 99070555 book a test drive on this car just before i go this car will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan so that's going to give you five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection it's also going to give you 10 years of premium roadside assist as well and much much more which if you are using our in-house finance we'll only adjust your payments by a couple of dollars a week so please again give us a call 99070555 my name is jamie and thanks for watching